Hey guys, we are going to draw a cat from The Cat and the Bird uh, by our favorite artist, one of our favorite artists, Paul Clay. So here's one of my finished works. You need to have a piece of paper, of course. Position it in landscape position. I'm going to draw a frame around the outside. It's hard to see my picture. It's hard to see my paper on this white table. I usually have a green mat down, but I did not do that. I want to get this made, this video made for everybody to see how to draw it. Alright, so here we go. Here is my frame. Now, again, my paper is in landscape position, which is long, this way. I'm going to draw with a pencil because I usually have to erase a little bit. Put my eraser right there. I'm going to put a dot in the middle, close to the middle of my paper. Now, if you've watched the video, the Maddie and Dada video, you remember that uh, Paul Clay talked about balance. So we're going to draw a curved line this way and a curved line this way. So they're balanced there too. It's like sort of like a uh, rainbow line. Now, we're going to draw the second line, which is under. That's sort of a smile. That's the bottom of the eye, the kitty cat's eyes. Easy so far. Now, the, the iris, the colored part of a cat's eye is more flat than a human. It's thinner, sort of like an oval. Okay, so there's the cat's eyes. There is our cat's eyes. Now the nose starts with two lines like this. Vertical lines, sort of at a diagonal though. Okay, doesn't look much like a cat yet. In the video, Maddie and Dada, Dada especially, said that the nose looked like a heart. So we're gonna draw the top of the heart. And the bottom of a heart is pointed down like this, right? Easy breezy so far. Okay, deep breath. We're going to draw the cheeks, the sides of the cat's face. It's a curved line down like this. So here's the first one. And up to the nose. Now the second one. This one's usually a little trickier for me. And up to the nose. Yeah. Make this one a little bit wider. If you need to turn your paper, please do. Which I did. Still didn't work. It was the same way. There we go. Alright, so there's my cat's cheeks. Let's put his mouth down there. Her mouth, whatever. A little bottom lip there. Alright, that's easy breezy. Let's put some shoulders. We'll just draw a little bit of shoulder out like that. That might not be how a real cat looks, but this is abstract. All right, we know about abstract art. Okay, let's get some ears. The ears are going to come up. Vertical line up. We're going to come down to this point, so, and we know your cat's ears are pointy. So it's going to come down like that. And some of the kids today were saying it looked sort of like an owl, but we'll add the finishing touch that makes it a cat. Okay, now the vertical line up. Oops. Too far. Then we're going to come down to the middle again, so it's balanced. Looks this, just about the same on both sides. Okay, get the top of your cat's head. Boom! Uh-oh. Got our whiskers. Curly whiskers on my kitty cat. Okay. And in the book, The Cat and the Bird, and in the painting, actually, The, the Cat and the Bird, um, the cat is daydreaming or thinking about the bird, so there's a little bird up here in his head. As we talked about it in class, we decided maybe we could put a fish 
somebody wanted, some people said a squirrel because cats do chase squirrels, or a mouse. I'm going to go with a bird because I remember the pigeon body. I'm going to put a head on it with a beak, some legs, and a tail. And there's an easy bird. Next step, color your cat however you want it to look. Here's an orange one. There are a whole bunch of cats around. Oh, actually, there are only two. So here's my orange one for today. From today. Did the little bluebird up there. Have fun!